Hey everybody, it's uh, Chris over Dixon Farm, and uh, this is going to be just kind of a weird video. I, I'm, I'm doing maintenance on my arcade machine. I've got a, a home-built arcade machine. Most of the time it just holds uh, laundry as I'm folding it, so let me uh, move that real quick. Oh, put it down. There we go. So there's the arcade machine, and uh, it's got a old IDE hard drive, and I've been paranoid. What happens if that hard drive goes? What happens... Uh, I need a backup, so I made a backup. I had an old computer, and I backed up the hard drive. Uh, here's the hard drive, by the way. Um, but I am going to clone what was on that hard drive onto a compact flash card, because these aren't much. Um, I'm not going to get a speed increase, like if it was a, a solid-state hard drive, but that should eliminate the worry about the hard drive failing because I'll have a compact flash. I've already got a backup of it. You know, I should be able to pop this in and out of a normal computer if I needed to, you know, move files or whatever. So, I know, nerd stuff, but here, come on, take a look. All right, well, here it is. There is an IDE to compact flash adapter. You buy these online for a few bucks, five bucks, ten bucks. And so, um, the reason to use the compact flash is it's actually a little more compatible with IDE and the computer in the arcade cabinet is so old, I want to make sure that it's compatible. So um, that's why I'm using this instead of um, a uh, SD card or an SDHD or whatever card. I'm using the older uh, compact flash because it's supposed to be like basically pin for pin work like IDE. So I'm going to boot up the computer. This is just a, this was our old TV computer, which I have since replaced. Uh, that was in an older video with that little guy over there. And it's funny because I'm using the TV as my monitor. Uh, it's just easier that way. So turning on the TV right now. Well, here it goes. It is starting to restore my backup to the compact flash card. It's going to take about 10 minutes. I'm going to start bringing in some uh, horses. And when I'm done, I'll come back in and uh, plug it in and see how I'm doing. Well, as you can tell by the change in lighting, I am back in. It is now uh, sunset and we are done. So I'm going to go plug it into the other unit. Probably have to hit a OK button on the bio screen and we'll see if it boots up and whether this was a, su a success. Now, again, the reason why I'm moving to this is because uh, hard drives are going to fail over time. And that uh, RK computer is, I think I built it in 2010, so it's at least eight years old, if not 2008. I may have built it 10 years ago. Actually, I'm pretty sure I built it in 2008. Um, matter of fact, it's using a version of Linux that I don't even really remember how to use anymore, Mandrivia, which is uh, something else now. I, that's like a Red Hat variant. I've been using Ubuntu uh, Debian-based since 2010. And uh, I have an old video of me showing off the arcade machine, so, um, you know, this is just a what does Chris do kind of videos. So this is what he does in his uh, spare time sometimes. He nerds out and... Uh, and tinkers. All right, you see it booted up uh, like a champ and uh, you know, here's the uh, unit old motherboard with the video card and all my custom wiring and down there is the new solid state hard drive. Uh, you hear that power supply is a little loud. I'm going to see if I have a uh, different power supply. Uh, maybe I can swap it out and get something a little quieter. The only noise this thing makes is the um, the fan from the power supply and uh, so Let's load up, uh, this is the one that always shows off. We're going to load up a Dragon's Lair real quick. So, um, when you start it, you know, it, it's like it's booting up. Like it's, you know, it thinks it's an arcade machine. It doesn't know. So, it takes a couple of seconds to actually get going here. And so, uh, right now it's kind of scanning the, uh, we're going to wait for the little dink. And there it goes. Dragon's Lair, the fantasy adventure. So, um, dropped a couple of coins in and... Hit and play here real quick. Let's go ahead and load up a different game. Uh, we'll load up uh, Frogger real quick, okay? So, I'm just going to start up the emulator for Frogger. Let's go ahead and turn it up a little louder. Let's 
go in the water. Dead! And the nice thing about uh, building your own arcade machine is you can hit pause. So I can pause the video game. Uh, and it's Escape from New York. Uh, I, I should have closed this up, um, but you know what happened was I, I, I was so excited to test it and I got it working that there was like no, once I got it working, there was no need to go any further. Um, like one of the keys should have been remapped, but it's kind of difficult, so I just, I, everything works, so I just kind of left it as is. Um, loads of fun having your own arcade machine, especially you got built, I mean, that was not a kit at all, that was built from scratch. The cabinet I built from scratch, the wiring I did all from scratch. Um, you know, there are only, the, the controllers itself that, uh, you know, is, is a thing, it's a hacked keyboard. You know, I didn't do that. Uh, but I did wire up the controls and put the controls in, order them from an arcade um, supply house and wire them up. Here, I, I did this in the video anyway, but I'll show you the wiring real quick. So here's the massive wiring that I had to do. And here's uh, basically a hacked um, speaker system. And then I've got the speakers hidden underneath the, uh, the part here. So <laughs> that's how I can control the volume. And we got Wreck It Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it. And then some screenshots uh, from Escape from New York. Uh, that's kind of hard to see, but you can see it's a containment wall. Um, yeah, because Marissa and I escaped from New York uh, to move down here to North Carolina. So that's what I themed the cabinet to be Escape from New York. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I know this really isn't the appeal to many people, but it was just something that I was doing. And uh, I'm very excited now that I, I'm confident that even if the whole system went down, I could replace the motherboard. Um, I've got that spare computer that, you know, I did the backing up on. Uh, I can replace the power supply, and now I've got a good image of the entire arcade cabinet, and I can just swap out that uh, compact flash if it ever failed, but uh, the likelihood of that failing um, is low, to be honest. I mean, this thing isn't running all the time. Uh, I play it just a few times a year, as a matter of fact. Um, around here, you know, we just don't have time to do stuff. If we've got time, we've got time to go fix something on the farm. So, anybody, anybody, anyway, everybody, thanks so much for watching. Um, take care.